Hey, it's Annie. Today we're in my dining room. I almost feel like I can hear an echo. Can you hear an echo? Yeah. Um, the reason that I'm in my dining room today, not just to show you that my I did paint my walls. And by the way, I use Snowbound by Sherwin-Williams. Actually, that's the color, but I used Glidden paint because it's a little less expensive and that's how I roll. So the name of the color that I use on my walls is called Snowbound. It's kind of like a, it's white, but it has like a little bit of a gray tone, but it's really pretty because it doesn't look gray, if that makes sense. So I guess it's just a cooler, a cooler color. The reason I'm in here, as you can see, um, I started painting my dining room table because um, it was this color, the same color as the chairs. So I still have to paint the chairs yet. So I'm going to kind of show you, talk about what I did. I didn't record it because I don't like to record, like I don't like to film videos when my family is home. Um, it's just too hard because I don't want everybody like, I don't want to have to tell everybody, shh, recording. So I usually like to do it when I'm home by myself. Um, so I just wanted to do something different. And I was inspired by my friend Paula uh, Blankenship. She is the owner of Heirloom Traditions Paint. So what I did, and you know what, I gotta get my tool. I'm gonna get my tool. This is the sponge. So what I did is I used three paints on this table. And I'll do a close-up in the minute, okay? But I used um, a la mode, thunderous, and mocha. Okay, those three colors. Why was I holding four fingers? Three colors from Heirloom Traditions Bay. And so what I did is I put them on paper plates and then I dipped my sponge in it, and the sponge was damp. Not not wringing wet, but damp. You don't want it to be dry because it's it's gonna to start to like, it's not gonna blend really good. So I took those and then I took my sponge and I just slid it across my table and then I added more color and I slid it across my table. That's how I painted it. I even did that around the edges and everything. I just wanted a really funky look, just something fun and funky. Um, but I'm not done with it. This is like an experiment. That's pretty much how I paint my pieces. I never really know what I'm going to do for sure. I just don't. I just kind of do it and then I'm like, eh, I'm going to do a little bit of some of that. Okay, so after I finish that, like I said, I still have to do the chairs. So no judgment on the chairs yet. And I'm going to use the same colors and I'm going to use a sponge on here. That's what my plan is. Okay, if you want to see me do that, let me know in the comments. If you want to see me paint the chairs, because I can wait to do that and show you how to do it. Okay, um, so then I thought I need to like, I don't want to leave it like this and I don't want to sand it because if I sand it, I'm going to see the original color underneath, which is this creamy color, which is fine, but that's not the look I'm going for. I don't even know what look I'm going for, girl. I have no idea. Um, but I want to tone it down a little bit. So I'm going to use Heirloom Traditions um, White Wax and this is the cream version. I, I don't like working with the spray wax. I really prefer this instead okay I really like this better I'm not really a fan of the spray wax um, but I love this so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, wax I started doing it actually I'm going to just brush it on and I'm going to wipe it off I'm going to show you I'm going to get the camera really close because I want you to see not really how I'm doing it because waxing is really easy if you want me to show you how to wax a piece of furniture I'd be more than happy to show that with you, but I just want to show you how you can totally transform something just with paint and then wax. So let me get the, um, I want to get the um, camera really close so you can see what I'm doing. So I kind of turned the brightness down on the camera too because I want you to see this. So I started doing it right here. I started applying the wax. I'm going to apply it like right in this area here. That's, oh, that's the wax there, but no worries. Okay. So I'm going to play here. You can kind of see how dark it is. All right. So I'm just going to take my wax brush here. I'm just going to just kind of stipple it in there, you know, just get a little bit and you can kind of see, can you see how much I'm getting on my brush? Hopefully it's zooming in. This camera takes a little bit to zoom in, but I'm not taking very much. Okay. And then I'm just going to brush it on here and it looks like it's paint, but that's basically what white, um, wax is it's it's wax with paint in it you know so just gonna go like that now I could leave it like that that will look cool and it kind of toned it down right but I'm gonna take my rag here and see just kind of wipe it off so see how that kind of like softened it 
I'm going to do a little bit right here too because I don't think I got that area. I'm just going to. So depending on the look that you want, I'm going to put on the edges here too. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more on there. I actually kind of like it. I'm not going to want to wipe too much off here. I like it. So it kind of gives you a dry brushed look. Do you see that? See how it toned it down? Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can see next to it. Maybe I need to do a, like a comparison. So really lightly, I'm just going to take a cotton t-shirt, okay? And I'm going to wipe it down just real lightly. I don't want to wipe too much down because I really like this color. And after it dries, you can go back over it and do a little bit more. I really like that because it kind of softens it up here. Now, let me see. Can you see? Hopefully you can see if I go in here. Yeah. Okay, same thing right here. Just going to go back and forth with it. Just do a little section at a time, too. You wouldn't want to just do this on the whole table. You want to just do a section at a time, okay? I kind of did this a little bit, but I'm going over it. Again. And then take your cotton rag. And just wipe it off. Just like that. And I'm going to experiment with this. I don't know if I'm going to add any of this on it or not. If I do, I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I can brush it on there. So I might add this. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I want to see what I want to see what my whole table looks like done first before I decide. Um, but you can kind of see it. But I just think it's kind of fun. It just gives a little bit of texture and I don't know, it kind of makes it look like a I don't even know what it looks like. I just like it, okay? <laughs> Okay, and that is it for today. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. Really, 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 really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments if there's any painting techniques that you'd like me to share my channel, let me know below. And that's it. Thank you so much. Follow me on whitelacecottage.com and Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'll leave all the links below and I'll leave the information below on the wax that I used for this project as well. So that's it. Thank you so much again. I will see you soon. Bye.